Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to suppose that f and g are continuous functions such that g of 2 is equal to 6, and the limit as x approaches 2 of 3 times f of x plus f of x times g of x is equal to 36. And we're asked to use this information to find f of 2. So if we have the limit as x approaches 2 of 3 f of x plus f of x times g of x, we can say that this is the limit as x approaches 2 of 3 f of x plus the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x times g of x, right? If we have the limit of an addition, we can add their individual limits. We can say that this is equal to, if we have the limit of 3 f of x, that's equal to 3 times the limit of f of x. And if we have the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x times g of x, that could be equal to the limit of f of x times the limit of g of x. We are also told that f and g are continuous functions. This means that the limit as x approaches a of f of x is equal to f of a and the limit as x approaches a of g of x is equal to g of a. So for these limits, we can replace them with the values of the function at that x value. So the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x is equal to f of 2. Same here. And the limit as x approaches 2 of g of x is g of 2. So we have 3 times f of 2 plus f of 2 times g of 2. We have that g of 2 is equal to 6, so this is 3 times f of 2 plus f of 2 times 6 is 6 times f of 2. 3 plus 6, this is 9 f of 2. So 9 times the value of f of 2 is equal to 36, since that's what this original statement was equal to. Dividing both sides of this equation by 9, f of 2 is equal to 36 divided by 9, f of 2 is equal to 4. The value of the function f at 2 such that this statement is true is 4.